Hey guys, this is Community Redstone, and um, I'm Jacob, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a hallway trap. Um, I'm going to be using the texture pack Polycraft Smooth. It's more of a cartoonish looking texture pack. thought it would be appropriate for what we were doing here today. I'm going to be doing this in um, creative mode just to, for uh, demonstrative purposes. I have one built here, pre-made. Um, basically, it's just a hallway, and it's a trap that they walk over it, and they fall. Whoops they walk over the pressure plate it opens up a trap door and when they continue walking they fall into it now you see they're trapped in a lava two by two um, or two by one uh, little pit in here which they will die in this can be used for mobs or um, people on a multiplayer server um, so today um, I'm gonna show you how to I'm gonna build another one you can either build this out of wood or stone um, it really doesn't matter which one you use, but I'm going to be using stone for the next one to show you what both of them look like. So let me put this wood back here real quick. And so we're going to build it over here. Um, I'm going to be using this one out of cobblestone. Your hallway needs to be, or at least the hallway can be longer, but your uh, usable part that you're going to be using is seven long. So let's build a seven long right here. And it's going the the wall itself needs to be too wide so just like so and then there's going to be two spaces in between the two walls so make another wall just like that one and then I'd suggest you can make it really however high you want but I'd, I'd suggest making it three high on the inside so it's just a, a nice height so I'm going to finish uh, building the hallway. I'm going to pause the video while I do that so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me build and I will be right back in a minute. Alright, hey guys, I'm back. I'm just now finishing up the hallway. Um, just finished the roof and there's the hallway. Your 2x2 two two wall, 2 in the center and 3 high on, on the inside. Can be higher. Um, the shortest it can be is 2 high, but I'd still suggest the 3 high or higher. Now you can see these two hallways are identical. Um, you can put up some torches if you want for looks which I normally do just to make it look more uh, civilized. Um, let me just throw these up real quick. So we have two identical hallways. Um, actually one thing I forgot to do while I was building the hallway is you need to make the floor, or I'd suggest making the floor, the same material, material you use to make the walls so that your uh, pressure plate fits in. So let me finish this up real quick. And there we go. So now what we're going to do here is go to the very middle block. One, two, three. One, two, three. And dig down one. And you can actually dig this down however far you want. It can be a lava pit or you can actually make it a, a water drowning pit so you can take the, the... If it's a mob, you can take their items or whatever. So dig all the way down here to the bedrock and dig one two out this way and there's um, my construction from the other one so we'll just leave that alone um, one two out this way whoops now take out sticky pistons you're gonna need two sticky pistons and you are going to put one here whoops make sure they're sideways facing inward one here and one here. Now put um, a cobblestone um, or whatever material you use to make the floor and the um, and walls and put them on the sticky piston and here's how, here's how what we're gonna do works. Um, you can use really any material for this. I wouldn't suggest using wood though in case you're using lava so it doesn't burn. Um, and dig a little room out here so you have room to work. Okay, now, we need to go behind this piston. Um, we need to go, I'd suggest going two behind like this and then digging a little thing like this around the bottom. So you're going to go two out from the piston, um, the block underneath the piston, and then you're going to dig one out underneath the walls on the side. And your pressure plates are going to be, we can pull those out right now and put them Oops. We can pull those out right now and put them down. Um, I'm going to grab some cobblestone one, uh, 
stone one, and you're going to put them one back from the hole. And actually, I should have used stone to build this wall, not cobblestone. I should have remembered that. So if you're going to build this up, I'd suggest using stone, not cobblestone, so these blend in with the floor. Um, anyway, you're going to put your pressure plates right there. Now, on your pressure plates are this block right here. So you're going to want to build... You're going to want to dig one block, one block underneath the block that the pressure plates are on, and one back. And you can dig out the sides if you want for easier workspace. Now, dig out the sides, and on this back one, you're going to want to dig that one out of the corner. And here I still have, whoops, um, I have work from, this is all the wiring from my other one, so I'm going to just close this off real quick. Um because I did not know I would run into that. I forgot how wide it was, so... There we go. Now, what we're going to need to do here is um, do the same thing with the side. Put the one block under the uh, piston, just like so. And you're going to want to dig two back, which two back, and... Sorry about that, guys. Um two back and you're one out from the floor so it'll look like this okay now you're going to want to do the same thing for the pressure plate on this side two back you can dig out the sides dig out that one corner block right there just like so all right now you're going to want to put two redstone torches one under each one underneath each piston so the pistons close and there's the hallway floor right here all right now what else we're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring out your redstone bring it back from the torch back to this wall underneath this lip right here and you're going to want to bring it around that edge that I had you dig out around around the edge now you're also going to want to put actually we'll get to that in a minute um, do the same thing on the opposite side bring it around the edge and now bring it one out from the edge back here back here and then make four on the block up here that are underneath the pressure plates and do just do the same thing there so it goes back through this here and up on here the blocks that are under the two pressure plates and do the same thing for this side four on top of the blocks for the pressure plate and down here there you go you have it and what you're going to need to do now is dig out the one, the one, uh, break the one redstone that is right, um, one, two, three, and over one from over there, and put a repeater there. You can, um, depending on how long you want your delay to be, um, they all work different depending on how fast you're walking and stuff. So I'm just going to put mine on number, um, two right now. So there's a one second delay there. You can do it w in whichever way suits you better, or suits w your environment that you're building better. So there we go, we have it. Now Now you're just going to want to block this off with, I, you can use whatever, but n except wood because it'll burn. Um, just block it all off with dirt. So you have a little one by two enclosed area right beneath where the pistons are in the stone. You can put lava down here, or you can put water, or whatever suits you. Since I'm on a super flat world, I can only go, like, three down. So you can build, like, a grinder or something out of it. But now that you have the lava there, you're going to want to put your... Come out of there and put your floor back down. And you're going to want to... Um, that's it. So now that you... Uh, that's all the inside. So basically it's done now. So now to test it out. It works. Now, if um, that was the tutorial for this, um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. Um, there's several ways you could do the, this um, underneath part. You could make this water and have it go down and then drown them and then have like the items flow to the side so you can pick them up or something. But whatever suits you better. But um, the lava works for um, multiplayer if you're just trying to play with people so they can't like say 
say this is like a castle entrance and you wanted to make it like booby trapped so they walk over the pressure plate fall in the lava you're not really trying to take their items you just don't want to keep them out of an area but if it's like a mob trap then I'd suggest using water or just making them fall like straight down like 30 down or something like that it all depends on what suits you better so that has been the tutorial for the hallway trap and we will see you guys um, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe so you know when the next videos are coming out and we will see you guys in the next video thanks